Most things we find at random are explainable, and if we can't explain them ourselves, we let experts explain them for us. Sometimes, though, we discover some downright absurd things that do require more time and effort to get to the bottom of. From a huge fossilized armadillo to a mysterious lake, here are 20 most incredible discoveries found in the middle of nowhere. Number 20. Giant Hand in the Atacama Desert if you travel down Route 5 of the Pan American Highway and keep going until you're about 43 miles from the city of Antofagasta in Chile, you're gonna see something incredible in the middle of nowhere. A giant hand. In one of the driest and most deserted parts of the world, Chile's Atacama Desert, there's a massive hand reaching out of the sand into the sky, created by Chilean sculptor Mario Irarazabal. The sculpture is 11 meters or 36 feet tall, and it's built out of concrete and iron to withstand the extreme temperatures of the environment. Mario created the statue, named Mano del Desierto, or Desert Hand, to symbolize our frailty, loneliness, and pain as humans. Essentially, it's a way of recognizing our vulnerabilities and weaknesses and paying homage to the suffering and injustices around the world. The city of Antofagasta had asked Mario to create the monument to highlight the emptiness of the desert. Because of its isolated location, people haven't been able to help themselves and have vandalized it with paint and graffiti. Although, thanks to a dedicated group of volunteers, it's cleaned about every six months and restored to its former glory. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. A farmer was getting ready for his harvest, as he did every year, when he felt something hard in the earth. It didn't feel like corn, and it wasn't long before this farmer discovered something weird under his cornfield. It appeared to be some kind of skeleton, which wouldn't have been all that unusual if it weren't for the unicorn-like protrusion on the skull. The farmer immediately called in experts who whisked the skeleton away. Out of all places to find a unicorn, I guess it would make sense for it to be in one cornfield. Get it? I'll see myself out. Do you think the unicorn was real? Or if not, what do you think it was? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. The Oldest Rug in the World most of us can recall having a family member with a rug in their home that's been there for as long as we can remember. You might occasionally remark at how old it is, but it certainly won't be anywhere near as old as one made in Armenia that dated back from the 5th century BC to the 3rd century BC. It's believed to be the oldest surviving knotted carpet known as the Pazirik rug, and it was excavated from frozen tombs in Siberia. The square, tufted carpet is now located in the St. Petersburg Hermitage Museum. Experts think the rug is of Armenian origin, especially once dye experts and chemists concluded that the red threads had been colored with a red dye made from Armenian cochineal found on the Ararat Plains. How the rug was created also further entrenched the idea that it was Armenian work, since it utilizes the double knot tech. Interestingly, fragments of rugs found in neighboring burials look nothing like the Pazirik rug. The Pazirik rug uses symmetrical knots, whereas the others use asymmetrical knots. But aside from the knots, the patterns paint a telling picture. The artistic style with repeating rows of animals pointed towards people in the Middle East, and the same patterns have been seen on other works of art. Number 18. Giant Mammoth Leg Divers on a scuba trip in Florida about 55 miles from Sarasota were in for a great surprise when they ventured into Peace River about 55 miles from Sarasota in May of 2021. Two men, Derek Demeter and Henry Sadler, ended up uncovering a massive, four-foot-long, 50-pound femur bone belonging to a giant mammoth from the Pleistocene era. The bone had been preserved in sediment at the bottom of the river and was likely between 10,000 and 2.6 million years old based on when Colombian mammoths used to inhabit the area. These beasts could weigh over 10 tons and stand at 13 feet tall. 
Interestingly, both men were amateur paleontologists and knew what they were dealing with. They said it was likely that the femur bone was around 10,000 years old. But the surprises didn't end there. On the same trip, they also discovered a tooth belonging to a saber-toothed tiger and part of a now-extinct shark. Derek, the planetarium director at Seminole State College, said he was in denial about what they had found, but that it was really neat to see that discovered. Peace River continues to be a hotspot for fossil hunters to discover some amazing things. Other fossil hunters have reportedly found bones from sloths and giant armadillos alongside the teeth of Megalodon. Number 17. A Giant Fossilized Armadillo when Argentinian farmer Juan de Dios Sota was taking his cows to graze near a river, he made an amazing discovery – giant fossilized armadillo shells. At first, Juan noticed strange formations in the dried-out riverbed, but it wasn't until he got closer that he realized he might have found something quite significant. Juan believed he had only found two glyptodonts, or ancient armadillos, but when archaeologists arrived at the scene to begin excavating, they uncovered an entire family of them – two large ones and two small ones, with the largest being the size of a car. One of the scene archaeologists, Pablo Messineo, said they were expecting to find just two, but it was the first time there had been four animals like them on the same site. Most of them were facing the same direction, almost as if they were walking towards something. Glyptodonts are our modern armadillo's early ancestors, and they lived throughout North America and South America during the Pleistocene Epoch. It's actually not the first time a farmer has found a fossilized one, either. Another one was found measuring three feet long on a riverbank in Argentina in 2015. Number 16. King Richard III Under a Car Park the last thing you expect to find in a random parking lot is the skeleton of a king, but that actually happened in 2012 in the city of Leicester. Researchers and archaeologists were led to the site and found the king who had been killed in 1485 during the Battle of Bosworth. After performing radiocarbon dating, DNA and bone analysis, and collecting radiological evidence, they confirmed it was the king. He appeared to have two blows to the head, 11 injuries in total, and nine wounds to the skull. The two to the postcranial skeleton may have been fatal. Discussions began about what to do with him. An online campaign was set up for his remains to be placed at York, especially since he was the last monarch of the House of York and grew up in the Yorkshire Dales at Middleham Castle. The 16th great-grandson of King Richard also said York and Yorkshire County was and are the physical and spiritual home of King Richard III. It was also determined that the city of Leicester couldn't be trusted to look after the remains since they had misplaced him for over 500 years. By 2015, King Richard III had been placed in a coffin, which was on display at Leicester Cathedral. People queued for hours to see it. Number 15. Uzluza Monument did you know that a giant UFO is sitting in the middle of nowhere in the Balkan Mountains? Okay, so it's not a real UFO, but it sure looks like it. It's known as the House Monument of the Bulgarian Communist Party and is accessible via a potholed road leading up Mount Buzluza. It consists of a UFO-shaped concrete structure with a 70-meter tall tower. It looks like it's right out of a science fiction novel. It's quite a hike for anyone to get to it, but its location isn't by accident. This monument is positioned in the middle of the Shipka Pass, which was where a number of famous battles took place between the Ottoman Empire and the Bulgarian rebels. In 1891, a group of men decided to create the Bulgarian Social Democratic Workers' Party, later known as the Bulgarian Communist Party. They unveiled the memorial to celebrate Bulgaria's communist progression in 1981, and it was used for parties and events until the Soviet Union collapsed and closed in 1989. It took just a few short years of no visitors and no maintenance for it to fall into a state of disrepair, and now graffiti is painted all over it. The entrance has been bolted shut to it for a number of years. Number 14. Neanderthal Flute We all know that music has been around for hundreds of years, but what about thousands of years? Prepare to have your mind blown. Randomly, the oldest musical instrument in the world was found in the Duyababa Cave, which is near Cherkno Cave in Slovenia. The 11.4 centimeter or 4.48 inch flute is said to be 60,000 years old, and experts declared that it was made by Neanderthals. It appears they, too, loved listening to music. After some testing and research, it was found that the flute was made from the left thigh bone of a cave bear and had four holes pierced in it. 
The size of the holes and their positioning meant that it was unlikely to be accidental or a coincidence. This flute is the only one we know with certainty was made by Neanderthals, and it's about 20,000 years older than the next oldest known flute. Alongside showing us that music has been around for a long time, it also shows that Neanderthals were spiritual beings capable of artistic expression, just like us. You can see this flute for yourself at the National Museum of Slovenia, where it's on permanent display in the earliest stories from the Crossroads display. Number 13. Dog Tags from World War II Soldier about 70 million people fought in the Allied and Axis Nationals Armed Forces, so finding dog tags from some of those soldiers isn't all that unusual. Although it is pretty unusual to stumble across them all these years later and on a random trail. In 2020, Simon Krieger Plius from Wiesbaden in Germany was on a nature walk through some pretty prominent trails when he saw what looked to be a silver chain on the ground. Curious about what it was, he started digging it up and found a US dog tag that he said he knew would be a pretty personal and special treasure. Simon's mother, Petra, said Simon didn't want to withhold it from the soldier's family, so they set about finding where it came from. They discovered the tag belonged to Private Sammy Lee Williams, who enlisted in the war in 1944 at the age of 22. He deployed from Fort Benning in Georgia to Germany and survived, later returning to the US and living until he was 81 years old. Simon and his family were curious about the tags and were so relieved to learn that he hadn't died during the war. The tags now sit at the USAREUR Mission Command Center Museum, and efforts are being made to ensure they get back to Sammy Lee Williams' family. Number 12. A Rare Rock while our vomit isn't worth anything to anyone, the vomit of a whale certainly is, and one man was lucky enough to find a massive chunk of it. A man known only as Mr. Lee from Longdale Village on the northern coast of Orchid Island found what he thought was a mysterious-looking stone when he was fishing from a beach in October 2020. He was drawn to it because it was emitting a strong, sweet fragrance, and he suspected the rock he found wasn't a rock at all, but rather ambergris. Ambergris, or gray amber, is a solid, waxy substance that's produced in sperm whales' digestive systems. When it's freshly made, it has a marine, fecal odor, but is used for potions, medicines, perfumes, and even as a spice. The rock weighed around 4 kilograms, and ambergris sells for about $50,000 per kilogram. That meant that if his suspicions were correct, the unsuspecting fisherman would be over $200,000 richer. Mr. Lee sent samples to the National Khao Siung University for testing, confirmed Confirming ambergris. The man planned to sell it and use the money for family expenses. Number 11. Mysterious Rock in Bosnia Stones come in all shapes and sizes, but some definitely stand out more than others, just like one huge one found in the Padu Baravie forest in Bosnia by archaeologist Sam Osmanagic. It was such an incredible looking stone because it appeared to be nearly completely round, weighed about 30 tons, and measured up to 1.5 meters in diameter. It also had a red-brown coloring, which means it may be partly made of iron. Sam and others wondered whether the stone was man-made, and if it was, it could mean that Bosnia and other parts of southern Europe had advanced civilizations that we don't have records of. Sam had been researching stone ball phenomenon for about 15 years and was excited about what this particular stone could mean. But some experts say that Sam could be completely wrong. Geological society experts say that the round shape could be a result of spheroidal weathering, which is chemical weathering resulting in spherical layers of decayed rock. Human-made spherical rocks do exist, but this mysterious rock in Bosnia may just not be one of them. Instead, it's probably just a super old, cool-looking rock. Number 10. Moon Meteorite We've always assumed that there might be water on the moon, and some people speculate that the lunar poles have about 600 billion kilograms of water ice, although we've never really had a lot of proof aside from picture evidence from radar instruments. However, a meteorite found in a northwestern African desert might be proof that there is, because this specific rock can only form with water. Inside that meteorite, a team of Japanese scientists discovered the mineral called moganite, which is a silicon dioxide crystal similar to quartz. It forms here on Earth when alkaline water is evaporated under high pressure conditions, and the fact that it's in a meteorite means something similar might be happening on the moon. 
This was also the first time Moganite had been found in lunar rocks, and it was found in just one of 13 samples. Researchers believe that specific meteorite may have come from a part of the moon named Procellarum terrain, and was formed through water evaporation in strong sunlight. The Japanese scientist team's theory is that crystals of water ice could exist under the lunar surface protected from the sun. Number 9. Sea Mammals Desert Graveyard one of the last places you expect to find whale fossils is in the middle of a desert, but at least 75 ancient whale fossils up to the size of a pretty large bus were found in the middle of the Atacama Desert, which is over half a mile away from the Pacific Ocean. And it's not like they walked there. At least 20 of the dozens found were perfectly intact, and the bones were all found on the same piece of road, meaning they likely all died around the same time. The whales were all a mixture of adult and juvenile whales in species like baleen, walrus whale, and an extinct dolphin and sperm whale species. There was even sea lion or seal remains in the area. Although experts have their theories, knowing how the animals got there remains a mystery. Some say it was a mass beaching in which whales will swim onto land and die, while others suggest the desert was much closer to the Pacific Ocean than it is today. It's also believed that the area looked vastly different back then, more lagoon-like and the whales may have died when the lagoon dried up. Number 8. Katsuki Pillar Monastery Do you get tired of door-to-door -door salespeople trying to sell you the latest vacuum cleaner or magazine subscription? Well, boy, do I have a new home for you. It's the Katsuki Pillar Monastery, and it's about 200 kilometers or 124 miles from Tbilisi, the capital of the country, Georgia. The Pillar Monastery is one of the most isolated churches in the world and features a natural limestone monolith about 130 feet in the air. As you can imagine, it's not your average easy-to-access church with parking at the door. You can't even get there by train, so you must take a car or a bus to the general area before walking for about 20 minutes. There is then a steep climb ahead of you before you can get even remotely close. Oh, and you can't actually visit the top either, you just have to admire it from a distance. The Katsuki Pillar Monastery was built about the 6th or 8th century and contains a cellar, curtain wall, and three hermit cells. Every day, monks living below the monastery make the journey up a thin metal ladder that's bolted into the rock to say prayers at the top. The pillar is one of the most sacred landmarks on earth, and the only people allowed to climb up to the very top are the local monks. Number 7. Mysterious Lake in the Tunisian Desert Water doesn't just turn up in a desert, and definitely not a lake. Although that happened in the middle of nowhere, about 25 kilometers from a town called Gafsa in Tunisia. One minute, it's barren desert with scorching hot sand for as far as the eye can see, and the next, there's a beautiful big body of turquoise water. Given how hot the desert can get, you can imagine the first thing the locals did. Go swimming, of course. Hundreds of people flocked to the lake they called Lac de Gafsa without thinking about why it was there and what dangers it could possibly pose. They were all too busy splashing each other, paddling, diving, and jumping off rocks into the cooling water. But even though the water started as turquoise, it quickly turned a gross shade of green as algae took over. Scientists also stepped in to ruin locals' fun by saying that the water was likely contaminated with disease, radioactivity, and carcinogenic chemicals. Even so, some people were calling the lake a miracle and were making use of it anyway. Shepherds were among the first to discover the lake, and it's thought to cover one hectare and be up to 18 meters deep. Geologists suspect seismic activity may have ruptured some rock above the water table, causing the water to end up there. Number 6. The Devil's Bridge there's nothing really devilish about the Devil's Bridge in eastern Germany called Rakosbrücke. This famous bridge is located in Saxony in Kramlau Park and is popular with locals, travel bloggers, and social media users alike. The bridge was built in 1860 and spans 35 meters and is a beautiful work of art. But you're still not getting any devilish vibes from it, right? As the story goes, this stone or masonry arch bridge was so stunning that only the Devil himself could have helped to build it. Other bridges of the same age were nowhere near as spectacular, so everyone was curious about how this bridge came to be. A local knight called Friedrich Hermenrotzka was commissioned to build it for aesthetics rather than function in 1869, and it was built by hand with boulders and basalt. Supposedly, the builder had a deadline to meet, but he was struggling to meet it, so 
he asked the devil for help. The devil said he would help as long as Friedrich agreed to give the first life to cross it to the devil. Apparently, he agreed, but tricked the devil by sending a rooster or a goat across it. Number 5. A New Bee Species Depressingly, as quickly as we're finding new bee species, we're also seeing them become extinct. Researchers from Australia have been finding vibrant and colorful bee species around Fiji, but many of them are showing signs of exposure to environmental changes that could spell their demise. The Homolictus terminalis, for example, is given its name because it's a Fijian bee that is in danger of climate-related extinction. It can only be found near the city of Nadi on Mount Batilamu and just within mere yards of the mountain's summit. University students have been visiting Fiji for many years and have named at least nine new species. And one, called Homolictus acrostis with large mandibles, is only found on a single mountaintop. In 1970, six were found at Mount Natarivatu and another two in 2010. But even though they've visited every year since, they haven't found any others. It's believed that climate change really is driving them to extinction. Alongside researching the bees, they've been visiting Fiji several times to study the effects of harmful weeds and even human activity on plants and animals. Number 4. The Biggest Flower in the World I'm a sucker for a pretty flower. They look nice in a vase on your dining room table or even just growing in your front garden for color and vibrancy. But there's one flower most people would struggle to fit even in the largest vase, and that's the Rafflesia arnoldii. It is the largest bloom in the world and is only found in the rainforests of Indonesia. It's a whopping three feet across and can weigh as much as 15 pounds, so it would probably crush the average vase or flower bed. And it's by no means an innocent flower either. It's known as a parasitic plant and has no stems, roots, or leaves. Instead, it'll get the nutrients and water it needs by attaching itself to a host plant. Its size and how it survives make it less than suitable for the average property. But there's also another, more obvious reason why you wouldn't even want to be near this flower. It smells downright awful. It emits an odor similar to rotting meat, and this attracts all the insects to come in and pollinate it. So maybe it's a good thing that it's so rare and found in the middle of nowhere. Number 3. The Christ Statue It's not very often that you see Jesus in the water. In fact, you don't see him in the water at all. But there's one place you'll see something pretty similar, and that's off Key Largo, Florida Keys. About 25 feet underwater is the Christ of the Abyss statue within Penicamp State Park. It's the third statue like it from an original mold, and the original sculpture is in the Mediterranean. The original one was placed near the area where Dario Gonzati died in 1947. The statue is a bit of a memorial to Dario, since he was the first Italian man to use scuba equipment, and it's also one of the most well-known scuba diving sites globally. In 1961, the third casting from that original mold was commissioned by Igidi Cressy a dive equipment manufacturer who donated it to the Underwater Society of America. It was placed in 25 feet of water on Key Largo Dry Rocks. The reef is about 6 miles east of Key Largo, and the statue weighs about 400 pounds, although the base it's attached to weighs a massive 20,000 pounds. There's a plaque on the base of the statue that's dedicated to the memory of a pioneer dive shop owner in Miami, Michael Kevorkian. If you're not much of a diver, you can see a bronze replica of it in front of the main sanctuary in Key Largo. Number 2. Shigir Idol Gold prospectors found something perhaps even more exciting than gold in 1894. They uncovered a strange 5-meter-long carved wooden idol in Yekaterinburg, Russia while digging up a peat bog, and it was unlike anything they had seen before. It was a long, smooth idol with intricate carvings, recognizable human faces and hands, and even a human head with the mouth open. For over a hundred years, the idol sat on display in a museum in Yekaterinburg, with most people believing it was probably around a few thousand years old, if that. But but it turns out it was actually much older. A paper published in a journal stated that it was made from one large wood log and was most likely to be around 11,600 years old. It would then be one of the oldest examples of monumental art in the world. When radiocarbon dating was performed in the 1990s, they realized it was about 9,800 years old. But scholars argued that its large size and complex detailing were too complicated for hunter-gatherers. New samples in 2014 revealed that the idol was even older, dating back to just out of the last ice age. 
Number 1. The Lost Stone Head of Guatemala a number of decades ago, people found a massive stone head in the jungles of Guatemala, like in the middle of absolute nowhere. The face had beautifully delicate features, a large nose, thin lips, and the face was pointed upward to the sky. Strangely, the face had Caucasian features, but they were unlike any of the pre-Hispanic races in America. Doctor of Philosophy, Lawyer, and Notary Dr. Oscar Rafael Padilla Lara received a photo of the head in 1987 that was taken in the 1950s, and he was eager to find out more about it. An author and explorer tracked down Dr. Padilla and said that he had found the owners of the property the stone was on, which was about 10 kilometers from a tiny village south of Guatemala. By the time Dr. Padilla reached the site, he had discovered that the statue had been destroyed about 10 years earlier. Anti-government rebels had used it as target practice, and it was completely disfigured. Sadly, it was missing its nose, mouth, and eyes, and its head was resting on its neck. Little is known about that statue, including who created it or why it was there in the first place. It's amazing what you can find when exploring some unspoiled parts of the world. So many strange, weird, wonderful, and disturbing things exist if you're just willing to go a little bit off the beaten path. Have you heard of any of these things before, or have you visited any of them? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!